Let's go now to Tanya in Lansing, Michigan. Hello, Tanya. Hi. Hey. Thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Um, I have um, a question that has a, a few pieces to it, but uh, in essence, it's about, um, like, in Native American traditions, I know they use, they burn sage and they burn things to, to cleanse and to clean their, their, their domain. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if she could uh, talk about that and also about how um, I have friends who have um, crystals and they use crystals to amplify um, vibrations. Yeah, and vibrations. And I remember that. Vibrations, yes. Vibrations. Yes. And, and, um, and saying they're doing it all in the name of all of the name of Jesus. And I'm like, I, you know, I don't see that in the Bible anywhere, but I, I was hoping you could address that because I have a lot of, um, yeah. and have, and, and, you know, talking to, I'm very, I mean, they're very sincere and, and truly believe, and I just, Tanya, um, got really it loud and clear. This sounds like smudging. Oh, yes, that's what the, the practice is called. Burning herbs uh, and sage. And or perhaps that's a slang way of, of describing this this um, Native American ritual of smudging is where, they'll, like you said, they'll take the herbs, uh, usually sage, and burn it like as an incense. And then usually they'll take like an eagle feather and make sure that this um, burning sage, the smoke, is wafting throughout their house. And they do believe that this cleanses their house of negative spiritual energies, so to speak, or they may not call it that, perhaps negative spiritual beings. This cleanses their house. So then as a, if you're playing the part of a spiritual detective, what is at the root of this belief? Why do you feel that burning sage would, cl- what is cleansing about it? What is the agent that's going to cleanse your home? And, and so you'd want to know, is there some scientific particle of sage that kills germs or bacteria. Is this why I'm doing this? No. Usually at the root of this belief, when you're smudging, the research that I did showed that the root of the teaching is usually is that there are spirit beings, powerful spirit beings in or around sage that can then, or the spirit of sage that would then mm. combat any evil spirits. For some reason, the spirit of sage, as Which they is believe... Which known as the spirit of sage. Yeah, spirit of sage, um, is very powerful against negative demons or demonic beings. That is the root belief. Some people who do smudging don't even know that's what's at the root of it. They've only been told that sage will cleanse your home, but they don't know why. So when I did the research... That is what I found, that it is a belief that the spirit of sage or spirit beings around the plant known as sage are powerful against demonic beings. Now, is this okay? And I'm doing it in the name of Jesus. Can I do this? Mm -hmm. Answer, no, because you're taking something that is an untruth, and Jesus is the way, the life, and the truth, and you're trying to use it to combat demons. There is no spirit of sage. And there are no demo- there are no angelic beings mm-hmm. around the plant known as sage.